Hi, this is Yang Sang Cho, the founder of Jadam. In this video, I'm going to talk about calcium, boron, and sulfur, which is known to be essential for farming. While farming, we often hear about essential elements to be added in our farm. Substances like nitrogen, phosphoric acid, potassium, calcium, sulfur, magnesium, boron, cobalt, manganese, molybdenum, germanium, and selenium. You can also find a topic and advertisement regarding this in many YouTube channels as well. So today I'm going to elaborate in detail how to solve this complicated method and what could be the alternative solution. Before getting into this, there are a couple of basic things that people need to know for plant growth. There are several different kinds of nutrients need to be present for healthy growth of crop. The crop will grow healthy when all the nutrients are well balanced. If there is a lack of nutrient, it can cause problem directly connects to the growth, but it can also be a problem when certain nutrients are overloaded. And this is the part where people find most difficulty of balancing all nutrients that are needed for crop. If you look at this chart, there are optimal nutrient ratio for the crop, 1.5 of nitrogen and 0.5 potassium, 0.2 phosphorus and 0.1 of sulfur. And when all these elements is balanced, only then the crop will grow healthy. But can we really balance all these things element by element for healthy growth of the plant? Um, let me tell you that it is actually very difficult and even an expert also struggle to do this. Before elaborating in detail, let me show you how I farm. Every year, I farm about 60 different kinds of organic vegetables and I have never added calcium and boron and sulfur separately. Even without that, I'm able to produce most high quality vegetables throughout the year. Moreover, as time passes, I'm able to produce two to three times more than conventional farming. And many experts tell people to foliar spray calcium at the second half of the harvest, and that is essential for the crop. However, I have never done what they have been telling me. Am I the only one weirdo that telling people about nonsense ideas? No, in Jadam website, there are 60,000 members just in Korea who are practicing Jada method. And many of us here are not obsessed with foliar spraying with calcium and boron. One out of many claims from farming YouTube channels and expert seminar is that calcium and boron is an immobile element inside plant tissue. And because of it, these two particular elements should be foliar sprayed. However, I can tell you that is wrong. This is the picture taken from my farm and is the evidence that it works even without it. So did any farmers ever do calcium and boron foliar spray at the second end of cultivation before green revolution like 40 and 50 years ago? Not at all. Some of the experts claim that it is essential in farming, but here I am telling you that it's not really necessary and I bet you must be so confused by now and when people are confused I often tell them to observe the nature look at the deep forest and look at the robust tree and look at the trees on the top of the mountain if calcium and boron is an immobile element inside plant tissue can this beautiful nature exist in the first place there is no way trees can survive if that too only is an immobile element. So those claims are proven to be wrong and we have the answer right front of us. However, there are a few things that we all have to know the difference between human farming and nature farming. As we sell or consume whatever it is produced, there are some minerals and nutrients are missing in soil. And yes, we do need to fill it up the missing nutrient. So how can we do it? There are many options, 
But above all, there is a great solution for this problem. And that is utilizing our main household item, which is a salt, or utilize the seawater. And inside a sea salt or sea water, there are about 83 different kinds of minerals included. If you look at closely to the chart, you can see magnesium, calcium, potassium, boron, even sulfur is included. What's even more amazing is the nutritional balance of minerals in this seawater is very similar with amniotic fluid in the mother's womb. And fluid of the plants, even blood plasma of human, is almost identical to this mineral. So many experts claim that plants and animals originally evolved from sea. So now we know that salt can be the best and perfect solution for the missing nutrient. However, many of farmers are actually afraid to use this. And do you know why is that? It's because a lot of experts have been telling people not to use salt or seawater. And I believe this has led to another confusion in your mind. Just right now I told you to absorb the nature. And now is the time to absorb again. This is the satellite view of Korean Peninsula. And three sides of this peninsula is covered with ocean. And the seawater sprinkles about 3 kilometers radius from the ocean side towards inner land. And it continues to drop 24 hours for millennia. And it's not surprised that Oceanside Farm produces most high quality with great taste. And this is not just about Korean Peninsula. Anywhere in the world, have their best fruits and vegetables near the ocean. Utilizing sea salt or sea water for agriculture is actually proven by history. This is not an individual opinion, but benefits of utilizing salt for agriculture is also stated in archive in the Ruler Development Administration of Korea. If you Google the research, there is a plenty of research conducted with scientific base and this salt is proven to improve taste and has a function of preventing pests and disease. So in this video, what I want to tell you is that you can go for a complicated method purchasing all the ingredients from outside and not be able to find perfect ratio. Instead, you can follow the same way of our ancestor farming method by just simply using the sea salt or sea water for lack of minerals in your soil. And I guarantee you that it works even without purchased calcium, boron, and sulfur product. But here's one thing that we all have to keep in mind that using excessive amount of salt can actually cause toxic in your soil. So for that, I have a calculated numbers of safe amount. And the calculation is simple. Just multiply 1% of your harvest, then you'll be able to get the numbers of the salt that you'll be needing. And there can be many ways to apply salt in your farm, such as you can uh, irrigate the salt a small quantity through the pipe once a week when you irrigate, or you can just scatter on the surface. If this calculation is difficult for you, just Think simple, 500 grams of sea salt is equivalent to 20 liters of sea water. Just dilute this sea salt about 1000 times to irrigate with 1 to 2 weeks interval for normal crops and scatter 20 kilo of sea salt about 4 times a year on the surface of the soil for fruit trees. And this amount is recommended per 1000 square meter. Once you try to utilize the sea salt, you'll realize how powerful the effect is. The color of the crops gets much clearer and sugar content increases. Furthermore, it helps to prevent diseases. And yeah, that's about it. With this simple method, you can save the extra cost for your input. It will be helpful in your farm just by replacing salt as an alternative solution for calcium and boron. And if you want to use the sulfur, then make your own. I have invented a method to melt sulfur within short time without external heating and with just simple tool. This is world first and easiest method to liquefying sulfur and we call it Jadam Sulfur, also known as JS. 
The complete solution contains about 25% of high concentration of sulfur and one liter of this solution only costs you lesser than 60 cents.